If you've just spent hundreds or even thousands of dollars on a bicycle, you definitely want to lock it up so no one steals it. You can see a good example of a bike that is not locked up very well over here and you know it's kind of a beater. It's just got one little cable lock running through this standard steel bike rack bar. Now over here I have an electric bike. This is like a $6,000 bicycle. You don't want to get it stolen. Even some of the components like the front wheel that has a through axle and this nice 203 millimeter hydraulic disc brake. You don't want that to get stolen. You don't want your seat to get stolen. There's a lot to take care of. So the parts that you're going to need, the different products, are a U-lock like this. This one's from Blackburn. I like it because it's kind of rubberized. It's only 1.7 pounds and it locks on both of the ends of those bars. So a thief can't just cut one, they have to cut both to get it off, that takes more time. Then we've got this nice thick kryptonaut cable and a thin cable. We're gonna use this one to lock the front wheel and we're gonna use the thinner one just to keep that seat on there so no one tries to steal it. The first thing I do is loop the cable through the front wheel like this kind of thread it through itself. And then I pull this loose end all the way to the back of the bike because that's where we're gonna use the U-lock. I'll do the same thing up here at the seat and I'll run it through the saddle rails, kind of thread it through, and then I thread this one through the main cable. So now both of these parts are securely fastened together. The last step is to put your U-lock through the rack, your bike frame, and that rear wheel. So now both wheels are secured. And that's it. So now you can see that even if someone used the quick release on the front, they wouldn't be able to take the wheel without cutting that thicker cable. They wouldn't be able to take my seat and this nice seat dropper. And they wouldn't be able to take that rear wheel. They also wouldn't be able to take the frame because the U-lock has gone right through the bike rack and through one of my seat stays. I've got kind of a medium sized U-lock here. So I have to really snug my bike up to the rack. As you can see, I've parked it really far back and everything is pretty much secure, except for those accessories, which I'd probably take off and bring with me. Well, I think that's about it. I hope this helps you out. It's no fun getting your bike stolen, especially when we spend a bunch of money and time dialing it in just perfectly for yourself. This doesn't guarantee that people won't scratch your bike or bang it up, but again, there's that bicycle insurance option and you know, this is gonna put you well ahead of the majority of people who just use one really skinny cable lock. Have fun out there, ride safe.